My name is Paul Shevlin. I'm the sales engineer for Komatsu Attachments in the Southeast. Uh, I'm often asked, what breaker should I choose? When choosing a breaker, a lot of things come into play. Um, at the end of the day, it's down to preference. The main difference between a fully hydraulic breaker and a gas-fired nitrogen breaker is the energy source. Um, the fully hydraulic breaker uses only hydraulic oil uh, to create the power. Uh, so it gives consistent power all the time and never needs to be recharged. Um, the gas-fired breaker is a hybrid between uh, hydraulic oil and nitrogen. 70% of the charge of the power, sorry, comes from the nitrogen charge, which you will have to recharge uh, periodically. The cost difference between the two breakers: um, up front, the nitrogen gas-fired hammer um, would have a lower acquisition cost, and the maintenance may cost less. Whereas the fully hydraulic hammer. You will have a higher acquisition cost up front, but um, the lifespan of the breaker may be longer. Either breaker can be used for any application, um, but you really need to consider your application and what you're going to use it for. For like trenching type work, either hammer will work great, but if you start moving into like breaking oversized boulders, that type of application, uh, you may be better with the variable speed uh, fully hydraulic hammer. Hydraulic breaker can be used in uh, many applications. Um, you can use it from breaking concrete abutments on bridges uh, to breaking tr to trench work, um, just general demolition work, and also uh, quarry work. A nitrogen gas-fired hammer um, is well suited to an application that requires uh, the same force every time uh, since it is a single speed breaker. The hybrid breaker uh, only have two moving parts, so your overall maintenance costs are probably going to be lower uh, with a hybrid type breaker. Uh, they're designed to fit on a wide variety of excavators and, and can work in almost any condition. Uh, the benefits of the fully hydraulic breaker is that you've got consistent, reliable power at all times. They've also got blank fire protection, which is when the strike piston can no longer contact the tool, um, there's a hydraulic cushion um, inside the cylinder which slows down the piston and prevents it from making contact with the cylinder. The main difference between the H and the V series is the H series breakers is a fully hydraulic breaker, but it is a two-speed design, whereas the V series is uh, also fully hydraulic, but is a, between a 12 and 15 speed design. These breakers are compatible with the uh, PC78 up to the PC490, so that ranges from a 1,000 foot-pound all the way up to 12,000 foot-pound. Choosing the right breaker uh, all comes down to preference. Uh, major consideration is your application and what you're going to be using it for, and we are here to help you with any questions you may have and help guide you uh, as to which breaker is correct for your application.